All right, folks, how's it going? Me again, back with another video. Um, I put out one earlier on, and in that video, I said I was trading or swapping, as we say in the UK, um, one of my Mario Kart Wii U consoles um, with the game, a controller, and obviously everything that's inside the box. Uh, for a Super Nintendo with 20 games what, uh, which I thought was a pretty good too um, the guy got in contact with me ages ago he was asking what I was willing to trade for my uh, console Mario Kart Wii U console um, so I said basically in retro or any other kind of consoles so he sent me a few pictures of what he had and I said, well, basically the only thing I was interested in was the Super Nintendo. So he says he would do, he said he would do the, the Super Nintendo um, and the games for the console. And I said, okay, that sounds, no, that sounds fine. So we did the trade and he uh, came today, maybe about an hour and a half, two hours ago. Um, uh, brought the stuff, we did the trade, and that was us. So, uh, this video is all about the trade and what I got, and I'm going to show you it. Um, so, we'll start off with all the crappy games. Um, there's quite a few good ones in it, there's nothing spe super special, there's maybe a couple of them that are half decent, uh, but there's a lot of crap in it. Um, but I basically just wanted a Super Nintendo again. It's a not box or anything like that, so um, I just wanted a SNES again because I haven't had one for quite a while. But anyway, I'll start showing you the games here. Uh, first off, this is a game I used to play in Amiga all the time. I <laughs> think um, when they used to go with my brother Stevens, um, he didn't live with us, he lived with my grand and granddad. And they bought him an Amiga, um, and we would visit on a Saturday. Um, so myself, my brother James, and my brother Scott would go over, and that's the only time we got to play an Amiga. So <laughs> we would get to pick a game each and play one, um, one after the other. Um, and this was one that I always picked. Uh, I thought it was just brilliant. I was, I was into soccer and my football I think. Uh, soccer, not America, um, but still soccer, football, whatever you call it. But it's called Striker, and it's no sensible soccer, I think, like but um, it was just like a uh, the graphics were probably slightly obviously better than sensible soccer, but sensible soccer was more pixelated, that thing, and um, but. I always remember um, how I'd score a goal or run diagonally all the time with the player, one player, and shoot and score a goal all the time. It was quite easy. You would learn how to do it, but I played that for hours and hours and hours and I continuously won the World Cup all the time. <laughs> and my brothers and whatnot would get pissed off at me and say, stop playing that game. It's fucking shit. But I love my football. But anyway, that was the first one that I got with. Um, next up, um, we'll go a bit faster as well. Class Rugby. I have never played this before. Before, um, it is. Yeah, it's probably one I'm interested in what uh, playing because I like rugby. It's not rugby union. I like uh, it's rugby union. I prefer rugby union over rugby league. So maybe good fun. Let me get that a try. Probably cheap games. Probably can get it for a couple of quid or something. Like that. Uh, next up, Wrestlemania, oh, shit, Super Wrestlemania, with a Hulk and whatnot on it, I don't know how much it's for, for whatever, or whether it's a good game, but I think I used to play a wrestling game, it might have been this one, and I enjoyed it, I thought it was amazing, so if this is it, I'll enjoy that. Um, up next, another wrestling game, this is an arcade version, Wrestlemania, um, I don't know, as I said, I don't know what game I played when 
I was younger, may have been that one, maybe the last one, but I don't know. But I'll try it a bit, see how we get there. Uh, another one, World League Basketball, never played this before. Um, when I was young, I, my brother, the Snares, Scott, and my mum bought me, not exactly sure, true, NBA Jam. I can't remember if it was, see the one with the fireball and you can dunk the ball with the fire and all that kind of stuff. And I hated basketball at the time. I thought, I thought to myself, Mom, why did you buy me this shit? I hate basketball. I'm only football and soccer and all that kind of thing. But you must have thought I was into sports. And um, obviously the games back there were 40, 50 quid. So it was quite expensive games. So I wasn't going to say, oh, you told me a shit game, but. We played it and we enjoyed it, but I've never heard of this one, to be honest. Um, it's probably shit compared to that. Um, next up, Asterix. I have never played Asterix on a SNES, but myself and my brother used to play Asterix and Obelix on the uh, Master System. I think it's a different game from this because this is only Asterix. So, yeah, I look forward to trying this one out because I used to love reading the uh, Asterix uh, books when I was younger. Um, used to read them in Tintin books. Um, so when we got Asterix and Obelix uh, for the Master System, we loved that. It was like, the music was quite, I can't remember it just now, but uh, back then the music was so memorable. Um, and jumping, just, I don't know, just certain platform games you think the controls are wrong, just the physics of the game just don't feel right. But Asterix was one of those or kind of erring on the side of near enough what you wanted, but it just didn't feel right at the same time. I think it was a bit too slow. When you jumped with Obelix, he was far, so he, was, he could pound things and all that kind of thing. But um, Asterix, he was slower. Uh, he was faster. He could do different things, so. but yeah, I loved it, um, but I've never played it for the SNES, so that's that one. Um, what's up? Road Riot Four Wheel Drive, never heard it, never played it, don't know if it's good, you can tell me about it if you have played it. So I'll leave it at that. Next up, Starwing, was never a big fan of Starwing because of the graphics. I just did not get it at all. Um, did not enjoy it. I appreciated for the uh, for what it was because I knew what they were trying to do. They're trying to be um, push the SNES um, to its full potential, uh, but um, at the same time, it was like I don't know, like. When you look back at N64 games these days, the graphics are so jagged and whatnot. It's the same with this. The graphics just look, I uh, just don't look right. Uh, but it's still a quite a cool wee game. Um, I do like the um, the voice acting type of thing. It's not the it's not actual people speaking. It's all kind of like gibberish type of thing. But it does sound quite cool. But anyway, that's that one. Um, next up, Krusty's Super Fun House. I've heard of it, I've never played it. My little cousin, he's in his Krusty's Fun House games and uh, Mar uh, Mario Simpsons games. He played it on the arcade and whatnot. I don't know if it's this one, so he'll probably enjoy that if he comes down and plays it. So that's that one. Yeah, next up, Adam's Family. I love the movies on Adam's Family, but I've never actually played a game, so. That might be quite fun. Um, give that a try. Uh, next up, FIFA Soccer. Everybody knows FIFA. It's, um, there was a FIFA game, that, uh, a soccer game that we played back in, I think it was 96. Uh, uh, yeah, it was 96. I think it was uh, my brother, obviously, the Super Nintendo, and my cousins came to stay. Um, and they brought FIFA, was that FIFA 94 or something like that? This is just FIFA Soccer. And we had a competition on it and it was absolutely amazing. We had so much fun playing it. Um, 
and that was one of the most enjoyable experiences I've had with a FIFA soccer game other than FIFA 98 on the PlayStation 1 uh, myself and my brother and my uncle used to play that all the time and um, that was a really good game uh, it's probably shit now as is probably FIFA 94 or whatever it was but everybody knows FIFA games I love them, I hate them um, neither here nor there um, next up I'll go with these two we have classic Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Um, I'm not a massive fighting game fan because I'm shit at them. I do appreciate them, um, but I try my best at them, but I just can't get them at all. Um, but yeah, Mortal Kombat is quite a good game. It's quite violent now. Obviously, it uh, changed things when it came to um, video game ratings and all that kind of thing, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'll get the second one as well. Mortal Kombat 2. I won't pour over these, these two too much because everybody knows them. Um, I'm going to have a, a little drink just like Tutti UK does with his beer. I'm going to do it with a vodka and juice. Or even Wouter, the drunken bastard. If so, come in, uh, come in one night late and started being a video at 12 o'clock at night. Shocking! I would never do that. I could never have a chance to do that because my girlfriend would slap me in the face. And, what the fuck are you doing? Get to bed. <laughs> uh, I digress. Next up, Super Mario All-Stars. I would bloody keep this in my collection, but... It's got a kind of scuff to it, I think, there. That's, what, that's the only thing I was kind of pissed off at. Well, I'm not pissed off at, but I'm like, ah, shit. I'd have liked to have kept that one, but... Uh, I'm one of these pedantic idiots that only likes quality. But still, I'll play it. Um, next up after that is Toys. Good old Robin Williams film. I've never played the game, never even heard it, well, I've heard of the film, but um, I didn't know they made a, a video game of it. Uh, Christ knows if it's good or not, probably shit, because most uh, movie games are garbage. So, that's that one. But here we come into a bit of quality. Um, this one, Joe and Mac. Um, I've had this before, I, my memory is very vague on it, I don't remember much about it, but um, I know it's when I, one of the better games, well, platform type of games, um, I was more of a Chuck Rock fan, um, played that in Amiga, loved Chuck Rock in Amiga, uh, played that all the time, but this one, I don't know much about it, but I'm sure I played it or had it somewhere. Um, here we go, and our fighting game, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. This is probably my most favourite fighting game. Um, I'm more of a Street Fighter fan than a Mortal Kombat fan, because uh, I like the characters in these. Um, I used to play it, and I think I get quite far into the levels and what I want to play it back then. Um, but, yeah, it's quite a cool wee game, so... I'll keep this in my collection, it's quite cool. Um, next up, we have... Z oh, shit. <laughs> zombies. I'm sure this is Zombies Ate My Neighbour. Um, I played this back in the day. But, um, I don't remember it being called Zombies. Was it not Zombies Ate My Neighbour? Was, that, was, it, that, was it called that in America? Alcohol's kicking in a little bit there. Um, but yeah, that's quite a cool we get. But that's another one. Next up, we have Mario Kart. I <laughs> love this little game. Uh, I don't like it as much as Mario Kart 64. Mario Kart 64 is my favourite Mario Kart game. But this is this is quite fun. And um, when you're playing it, it's obviously um, you feel like the level's coming towards you and you're just moving the level rather than the cart. Your cart's in a 
a fixed position and at times you feel like you're just turning the course rather than your cart which you actually are doing you're just turning the, the, the course so it kind of, I don't know what you call that but um, that's what I get with this and that's why I don't enjoy it so much um, you don't feel as if your carts are moving for the course you feel as if you're moving the course changing the thing there whatever that's called I can't remember I don't know and I'm a little bit drunk not too drunk but a little bit but last I keep saying this last but not least we have super ghouls and ghosts you have ghosts and goblins but I always remember super ghouls and ghosts um, had it in Amiga played it in Amiga um, it's hard as freaking shit um, so I don't know why it's so popular because it's well, I don't know it must have been because of the arcades and whatever but um, yeah I was absolutely garbage at it still am um, but if I do play it I'll try it out see how I go if it oh shit if I enjoy it I'll keep it if I don't I'll get shot of it but yeah that's the games um, I got with the bundle um, 20 all on I think yeah, 20. So, that was us. So, um, when the guy came, he was a nice guy. So, I was asking him, uh, what's the Wii U for? Is it the Wii U for yourself and whatnot? And he said, no, it's my daughter. She was, she would enjoy it and whatnot. I was like, all oh, right. You go play Mario Kart with her? And I was like, she's like, he's like, yeah. Um, so, obviously, you only get one pad with the, the Mario the console. So I said to him, well, I'll, I'll come and give you, get you an R controller if you're playing with your, your, your daughter. So I gave him an extra controller. It's not an original controller, but it's still a pro controller and they're excellent. Probably the best controllers to play in the Wii U. So I gave him another one of those. Um, I gave him Zombie U as well and I gave him Nintendo Land. A couple of extras because I didn't feel guilty because... His stuff's not in as great, great as condition as mine is, and it's got writing on shit, and I need to get rid of all that kind of stuff. Um, but there's a lot of good games on that, so I give him some extras anyway. Um, so hopefully he'll have fun with his daughter. And I said to him, well, he said to me, he's like, what are you into? It's like, I remember you tell me you were into uh, old gatey stuff, like toys and things like that. And I was like, yeah, um, I want to collect like old he-man thundercats and the turtles and all that kind of stuff he's like oh i've got stuff up in the loft if you, you might be interested in he says it's like Do i think it's doctor who and i was like oh, i'm not any really any doctor who type of things but uh, he said he'd have a look at it and i said to him well if you find any other stuff can uh, just say to me and i'll trade you for whatever you need um so we might we might do some more trades later on hopefully uh, so he was a really nice guy but anyway this is the console which i'm very happy with it's not gonna uh, um what do you call it discoloration it's not discolored at all the looks of it that looks quite cool but it looks a, on the picture uh, picture on the video uh, it looks a bit discolored but no it's quite cool uh, so i'm happy with that I'll get my collection. Jordan will enjoy that next time he visits. But yeah, it came with a controller original, which is feels quite cool. Um, a second party controller that looks quite cool. Feels quite cool as well. Yeah, so be able to play two player games at least. Um, got the hookups. Got the original Nintendo thingy jig. He gave me the RGB type of thing, um, so I'll be able to play it in RGB. Well, um, what do you call it? You know, the old Aero type of thing. What the hell do you call that again? I can't really remember. Anything. But anyway, yeah, that was, it was quite a cool deal. Well, um, that was more. Um, it wasn't so much the deal. That did, well, I did do it for the deal, but uh, it's good to 
uh, chat to other gamers and things like that and uh, make some contacts and what not but uh, yeah so happy with, with what I got so I shall get rid of some of it all the sports titles probably uh, keep some of the rest and play with it and Jordan and myself will enjoy uh, some multiplayer games and Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat You'll probably kick my ass as per usual on fighting games. Um, you'll probably wonder why I've got, I've got a new haircut. I, I shaved it myself. I usually, well, I've had a, an undercut a few times. So I thought to myself, no, this is getting out of hand. So I'll tidy it up a bit. Give myself a, an old style undercut. But anyway, this video is dragging on. And I... My legs are going numb, so I shall say, I shall say, I shall say, <laughs> I shall say <laughs> goodbye, and I hope you're all enjoying your games and whatnot, as per usual, anyway, from one drunken bum to you lot, see you later.